Hi guys, I have another Copic coloring and card tutorial today and I'm going to color this cute little Miss Lily glasses and I was looking around for some cool papers to use and I found these. Aren't they? Aren't they super? Uh, it's from the Bohemian Bamboo uh, pad by Prima and I really really like these. This reminds me of like the 60s and furniture in the 60s um, and I actually kind of thought about it with her glasses and everything so I thought we would colour her up so uh, let's start colouring
right, now we're gonna put the card together and we're gonna use another doily because I'm on a doily hate or something. We are uh, going to use some distressing, some tunnel glass um, because it's very nice light blue and should fit in quite good with the paper I've chosen. get some green details into it I'm gonna spray it a couple of times with this lettuce color wash by Arundac. That turned it very green but um, I think that could be quite awesome. So we're gonna uh, put this aside to dry. For card base we're gonna use some basil um, marshmallow and we cut it at five and a half and we're gonna score it. But first I want to do some matinee and we're gonna have this uh, chocolate card stock by Sam and Stamp to mat with and we're gonna do our teeny tiny borders as usual so this is going to be four and one eighth by five and three eighths I also gonna have a um, border going down like this because I just love how that look so I'm gonna cut this first down to five and three eighths and then I am going to cut a border that is one and a three quarters like that and uh, I'm also gonna have a cross a horizontal border uh, which is going to be the sentiment the sentiment uh, we're using comes from uh, the Simon's stamp, happy stamp set, which looks like this. I put together happy birthday. And this sentiment uh, is about one inch high. Um, so we're gonna make a one inch strip. And then I can cut it down after I stamped. We're also gonna cut our papers. This is going to be five and a quarter by four. It's gonna be the back side matting and then we're gonna cut this down and it's gonna be a strip which is one and five eighths and we're gonna cut that also down to five and three eighths so it will go through the whole card. That. And then we have our little doily here that is almost dry. I'm gonna cut uh, that down. I'm gonna have it sort of poke out like this. And I wanted to cover a big part, I think, of this. So I'm gonna cut it down. I put it there. It's about the same size I wanted to. So I just carefully cut it there. That. And then I can use this part on another project if I want to. The sentiment is going to be stamped with Versamark and then heat embossed. So first I take my embossing tool and I just try to remove all of that static. Okay. Then we take our Versamark pad, we take our stamp, get it really inked up and I'm going to have it on this side. So. That. A little bit crooked, but crooked is nice. That too. Um, then I'm going to use our embossing powder. My white embossing powder I have in one of these, but I do need a smaller one. They too take too much room. And this is our sentiment. Now we can put together our card. First, we are scoring our card at A2 size, which is four and a quarter. It actually says A2 on my scoreboard. So that's very simple. Then I just like that. Then we have our matte layers. Now we're gonna take the right papers and not the leftovers.
Then we're putting some tape onto this. Be careful. And the tape on the flowers. Ah. stick to each other today. Um, let's put it here and line it up like that. Then I'm putting this. I want the leaves to go upwards. And put it and line up like that. And take our happy birthday, which I'm just gonna put straight over like that. So New nice one. Here. Putting this down here. I'm gonna cut it off here. I'm gonna put this onto the card. And then we have her on some foam squares. And I have one little detail left, which I thought would be fun. We are going to use some a glossy accent on her glasses. Carefully. And that is my card for today. I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please thumbs it up. It means a lot of me. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down below. And in the end of the video, there both will be uh, some close-ups on this. And you will see how the glossy accent will be totally clear after it dried. And uh, also, I have some annotated photos of videos of old videos if you haven't seen them. Bye!